Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. And um, yeah, in this lesson, I was uh, just listening to the other Apostle Tahar's video on, um, I believe he titled it, uh, Eat It Up. Uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. Yeah, take it and eat it up. And um, as I was listening to it, he mentioned uh, there were a few points that he made. Um, and um, one of those was dealing with eating the roll, you know, learning the scriptures, obviously, and teaching them, but also maintaining the, uh, um, you know, the, the sharpness of the scriptures, right? Because just like everything else or everything in life, you know, the more you, you go over it, the more you practice it, the sharper you'll remain at it, you know? And like the, they have the saying, right, that, that I'm rusty or, you know, that, that which means that you haven't been, 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 you know, practicing or going over it. So you become rusty. Okay, and rusty doesn't necessarily mean that you don't, you know, you don't know how to do whatever it is, but you're just not able to do it as you once were. And keep in mind, the thing about this truth is, you know, there, there's, in terms of at least justification to the Lord, there's really no excuse to be rusty, right? Because the Lord, you know, the Lord looks down and he knows exactly what's on your mind. He knows your heart. He knows how much time you have. And he knows when you're, you're you know, you're procrastinating. Slack it deliberately or not. So the Lord, he, the thing about the Lord is he knows ex when he puts the spirit on you or when a, a thought comes to mind, he knows if at that very moment you have the capacity to do a lesson or to, you know, to do something about it or not. Okay. Like if you, if you're dealing with man, you can, you can just as easily say, Oh, uh, you know, uh, something came up and I was really trying to do it, but then, then I had to go run and do this real quick. So, you know, I do it, I do it tomorrow. But the Lord, the Lord sees past that, right? So the Lord can, he knows, no, 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 you didn't need, you didn't necessarily have to do that thing. You know, it wasn't that important or whatever the case is there. Okay. But all in all, the point is that you want to remain, um, you know, consistent. Okay. Because really, ultimately the Lord is the battery in our back. Okay. That, that keeps us going. And that's why it's always good to stay in the spirit, to fast and to pray, because that's how you recharge your battery. It's through the spirit of the Lord. That's the that's the the electricity, all right. It's the current, you know, that that is that's keeping us charged to continue to do what we do. It's really the inspiration of the Lord. Because just like there are days when you wake up and you really don't feel the spirit, like you don't feel you don't have any topics, you don't have any ideas, no precepts are coming to mind. And sometimes you may actually want to do a lesson, but the inspiration isn't there. Okay. And that, that highlights, you know, all the more that this is, this is all through the inspiration. Okay. The, the spirit of the heavenly father, Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. And that's why the Lord doesn't take too kindly to, uh, um, taking that for granted. Now let's start off here with the book of revelation chapter three. Verse 20, and keep in mind that a lot of these precepts, they, they can work in reverse as well. And I'll explain what I mean in just a second. Now, this is Revelation 3 and 20, and it reads, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and he with me. All right. And this is dealing with, you know, Yahweh Shai. The door is your is your mind. Okay, the door of your mind. And the knocking is, is the hearing of the prophets. Okay, hearing the teachings, hearing the words of the Lord. Right, as the Lord, the scriptures say, my sheep hear my voice. Now, you're not hearing the Lord's physical voice, but you're hearing his message through us. Okay, through the prophets, through the men of the Lord. And uh, likewise, what's that, Matthew um, 10, and, 10 and 20 or, or so, I think it says, uh, for it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. See, so that's that voice. And if you open the door, right? So you, you you stop and you listen and you take heed, then the Lord says, What? I will come into him and will sup with him. And that's when the spirit of the Lord starts to work with you and open and it, you know, it opens up your mind and your understanding 
And then you start to be able to receive the understanding of the scriptures. You start to understand, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, what what one verse means, what this book is talking about, or the prophecies in, in the scriptures. All of these things start to make sense. And then you learn the basics and then you start to grow. But like I mentioned, these things can also be done in reverse. So just as the Lord can sup with you, he can also not sup with you. And just because the Lord starts to sup with you does not mean that he is obligated to continually stop, sup with you. See, so if you, if he, if at, if at some point he finds you unworthy, if, if at some point, you know, you, 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 you start being complacent and you lose that edge, the Lord can just as easily say, all right, I'm out. Just as he came and knocked, he can say, I'm out, no more supping. Then your battery. So, so what happens is you may you may still have some juice in your battery, but it's only going to last for for a period of time, and then eventually, if you don't get a recharge, you're done. So that's why we're we're each and every one of us every day is still fighting to 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 give the Lord a reason as to why He should keep His spirit upon us. And if you if you don't give the Lord that reason, instead you show Him, you know, He's looking at you and He's saying, "Well, why?" We, you don't want that thought to come to mind, right? Well, why, why, why do I, why do I even give this guy my spirit? He ain't doing anything with it. So what's the point? Now let's go to the Book of Revelation because these are also some very important precepts to keep in mind. I mean, lessons like this are very important to to continually, um, you know, bring up, which is that 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 exhortationary reminder that yeah we we you know it's become second nature and we, we we do the work of the lord but don't lose the edge don't fall into a trance of, of complacency in the sense of just going through the routine going through the motions okay sometimes you know you go through a, a period of time where you know things may feel a little stagnant you don't feel like you have that sudden burst of of growth okay or, or that excitement that you had before but also keep in mind, it comes in waves. You know, the Lord ain't going to give you just a complete uh, a, a turbo boost and you just stay that way all the way. No. There's going to come times when you, you 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 stop. You know, you plateau. You can't keep going up for, for a decent amount of time. And then the Lord will give you something, you know, to boost you up a bit more. But just like that, you have to keep in mind that when you're in those those situations, the battle there is making sure you don't fall into that 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 trap of just going through the motions, okay? Because going through the motions is not going to get you there. Now, this is the book of Revelation chapter 2, verse 5. And this is what Yahweh Shai said. Remember, therefore, from whence thou art fallen, and repent, meaning turn back, and do the first works, or else I will come unto thee quickly and will remove thy candlestick out of his place, except thou repent. See? And this is to, to one of the churches. I forget exactly which church. Uh, let me see if it says it up here. All right. It looks like it's the church of Ephesus. Okay, but this this is a, a nice, uh, a uh, solemn reminder that, that the Lord is not playing. As he told him, and that applies to us as well, that... Look, you don't 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 set trip. You start slacking, you're falling. And you need to remember. You need to turn back and remember that fire you had in the beginning. Okay, the desire you had to, to serve the Lord, that excitement upon learning all this new information, that hunger to, to learn and to grow, and and go back to that spirit. Okay, because if you don't, then the Lord is going to take He's going to take whatever He gave you uh, away from you altogether. Because the Lord doesn't have time for that. So, like I said, the spirit is like it's almost like subscription based. You know, we're 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 always beseeching the Lord for the spirit, and we're we're you know doing the best we can so we can keep affording to uh to use the Lord's spirit to do the right thing. All right, um, yeah, one more. Where are we at? You know, and at this point, the scriptures are so. I mean, at least for those that have that have um, been in the truth for some time, you go through these scriptures so many, so much that you could really do a whole lesson without actually reading 
you know, the scriptures per se, because it's it's already within your heart. It's already within your mind. You know, you can, you can, there's some precepts you can just quote, you know, fully off the top. Some you may make reference to. Okay. And I mean, it's very important, of course, that you, you read the scriptures, you know, you bring out the verse to, to, for those that are new, new listeners. Okay. You don't, you know, you don't want to maybe butcher the scripture, but that's also the beauty of, of, uh, uh, learning and studying is that this, the word becomes a part of you, you know, it's almost like an extension. All right. This is the book of Zephaniah chapter one, verse 12. And it reads, it says, and it shall come to pass in that time that I will search Jerusalem with candles and punish the men that are settled on their lease that say in their heart, see, that's a key part right there. The Lord will not do good, neither will he do evil. See, so you may, you may have individuals like this around you and you may not know because this, this energy, right, of them being settled upon their lease, you may see it, but some may also just be going through the motion so well that, that you just think that that's, that's just them. Okay. But as it says here, inwardly in their heart, what they're thinking is, man, they, they, they don't really fear the Lord. Okay. They're like, man, the Lord ain't doing that. <laughs> So, so then they, they start to uh, slowly but surely start to get sidetracked, start to do, you know, things that, that take away their attention and then more and more and more. And then before they know it, they, they're gone. But the Lord said, what? He's going to punish those men. The scriptures also tell you, warns you that have lost patience. See, so you don't want to be like Saul, you know, in, in, his, in haste to make that sacrifice before waiting for, for Samuel to get there. All right, you don't want to be like that. But the whole point of the lesson is you have to keep the edge. Remember that the Lord is the battery in our back. And if, if the Lord is putting a, a, a battery in your back and he's giving you the spirit, you need to use it. Because if not, then he's not going, he's not going to keep supplying you with it because of why? It's a waste. Anyway, with that, I'm going to end it here. Lord willing, that was edifying and exhorting to the elect. In closing, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodesh. Until next time, Shalom.